Hi everybody, it's an exciting day at Doug's lab because I just completed my atomizer burner. Now I'm going to show you how it works. This right here is just the atomizer as seen in my previous video. I'm not going to get into how that works. Um, if you want to see that, you can check out that video. This is the air line, this is the fuel line again, except now the fuel line goes to this fuel valve and of course um, the other side, this goes to the fuel tank, but we're going to be, well I'm going to be demonstrating it with water today. Uh, we still have the refrigerator compressor right here, except now it has a crude air filter built onto it, cut from a piece of a t-shirt. Um, and of course the air line right here, which is just uh, looped over this because the compressor loses a little bit of oil and I want to keep track of how much it loses so I don't run it dry, which would be very bad. Um, yeah, so far this works great, uh, except for the compressor right here because it has a very soft, this is like a safety cutout switch, or like an overload protection device, and uh, it kicks on about five seconds after the compressor turns on, And but if the compressor is unplugged and uh, the switch is manually reset, uh, it'll run just fine after that. Sometimes it takes two times, but, so I don't know, I think, I'm pretty sure it's this switch that's soft and not the compressor, er, and the compressor is not overloading, because it doesn't appear to overheat anyway. Um, anyway, I want to show you a cool feature about my fuel valve. Uh, this right here is a little thumb screw that you can turn. Uh, this is uh, all the way on and all the way off. Uh, and there's a reason that this isn't captivated. There's a little rubber nut down here, um, which allows it to grip this surface really well. So I can turn this without the nut turning uh, and adjust the fuel flow rel relatively finely, I suppose. But also, um, this allows me to push down on this all the way to prime the fuel line. Uh, with the vacuum generated by the aspirator over here. And uh, also, I can do this as an emergency shutoff. Uh, of course, this is just my standard blower right here. I've used this for a long time um, in the duct. Uh, and then, of course, these are the blower controls right here. But I won't be turning the blower on right now. So, we'll get the compressor running. And we shall see. Whoops, I didn't plug it in. Make sure it's the right one. Alright, let's get the compressor running. Hopefully the safety won't kick in. It doesn't look like it's going to. Okay. Well, the compressor's running. As you can see, the burner is fairly quiet. It's not sucking any water right now because the valve is off. Um, this is the business end. I just have a bucket here because I don't want my basement to get too wet. So, uh, let's prime the fuel line. There we go. Fuel line is completely primed. You see how fast that sucks water in. Um, if, of course, I can leave my fuel tank, this is, this is my fuel tank right here, it's a two and a half gallon uh, high density polyethylene jug, it was for floor cleaner, but, um, commercial floor cleaner actually, from the local grocery store, but anyway, uh, I can leave this on the ground if I wanted to and just have it suck oil out of the bottom, however, I'm going to keep it up in the air because uh, the more pressure I have on this side, the greater range of fuel flow I can achieve, because all the way on will be a higher flow rate than it is right now, so that's the deal with that. Of course, this isn't spraying anything right now because uh, the fuel valve is off. So I'll start cranking this down, and you can hear it starting to spray. Oops. There we go. A little more. You see it's spraying right now. It sputters a little bit on lower settings, but I guess there's nothing I can really do about that. I don't think it's going to affect furnace performance too much. Just to crank it all the way up. Uh, at max right now, it will suck uh, half a gallon an hour of water through uh, this hose right here as it is. Uh, so of course, when my fuel tank is up high, it should be able to do more than that. And also, I know this is water, but um, I do cut my oil with uh, diesel fuel, so the consistency is about the same. And then of course, turn it off. The other cool feature that I should show you is that um, it's very easy to clear the fuel line once you're done running everything. Um, in fact, I need two hands to do it, but I will put the camera right here at the end of the fuel line, and by simply putting my finger over the end of the aspirator and then opening the fuel line, I can reverse the flow and just blow the fuel line out just like that. And you can see I'm just putting my finger in the end here and opening the fuel valve, and of course now the fuel line is completely empty, and I can show you that by refilling it. So, that is my atomizer burner, and I hope to be testing it very soon. Uh, I have a day off of work on Monday, so it might be Monday, it might be sooner, it might be later, I don't know. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them on the thread that this video will inevitably be released on, 
or uh, you can PM me or something like that on YouTube or leave a comment, whatever. Oh, well, it's Doug's Lab. This is my burner. Hope you enjoyed it.